Hello, and welcome to another What is Inside, boop, 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 Crinswell's, Crinswell? It's not Crinswell. Criswell's Pendulous Mail Sack. Monday, my dudes, um, and there's two packages, um, but then there's also some stuff I picked up over the weekend that uh, I picked up in person because it was uh, Black Friday, early Black, Fly, Black, Black Friday sales. Actually, I think, no, the, the only these two things were early Black Friday sales, um, and so they didn't come in the mail. Uh, first one was uh, Horizon Forbidden West. This thing was like 24 bucks at Target, which, you know, kicks ass. Um, and then the other one was this uh, uh, purple Xbox uh, controller, which I've got a controller problem, I admit it. Um, I'm not going to apologize for it. So that's what came, that's what not, th these didn't come over the weekend. I went and purchased them in person over the weekend. Um, the other two things, uh, we've got a bubble... Uh, bubble mailer from Limited Run Games and a box from uh, Video Games Plus. Um, let's open the bubble mailer from Limited Run Games first. Uh, Lunark. So, I am excited for this. This is a game published by uh, WayForward, um, developed by Canary Games. Uh, this is a... Um, it, it's it's inspired by the classic flashback game. Uh, you know, that kind of um, um, ornately animated, rotoscoped uh, platformer game with a lot of puzzle and adventure and um, uh, a fairly... Uh, it, Intense, intentionally difficult gameplay. Um, of course, it was in turn inspired by Prince of Persia, but you know, whatever. That's what Lunark is. Lunark is something that's extremely expire, inspired by Flashback. I think it was actually kickstarted a few years ago, and I was not one of the kickstarters. Um, but this is the limited physical edition from Limited Run Games, and I'm. Frankly, I'm very excited to play this because I, I'm a huge fan of Flashback. And I'm a big fan of Way Forward. They have good taste in games. So, um, Lunark. Uh, let's open up. The next one is uh, Video Games Plus. Boy. How about you? Yeah. All right, so this one, this one is the Silent Swan. Um, this is a the first person perspective game, but it's um, I'm not sure if you'd really qualify quantify this as a as a walking simulator. It's more atmospheric, narrative driven adventure game would be the way that I would describe it, based upon. The reviews and the impressions that I've seen on it. Uh, it's also uh, dark. It's not exactly horror, but it's definitely got kind of um, uh, some dark themes to it, which, you know, I, I dig that sort of stuff. Um, and I pre ordered it, uh, I think back in July. Um, and um, I am excited to play it. Honestly, it, it probably could have fit with Spooktober, but, you know, we're 
at the end of that. So, anyway, um, that's what I got. Monday, my dudes. Tuesday, my dudes. One package that I'm very excited for. Um, let's open it. Oh, oh my gosh. So this is This is the Steam Deck OLED. Um, I got the limited edition. Now, uh, I think I'm going to do a, a proper unboxing of this. Because um, I think other people might want to see it. So I'm only going to show it here. And then uh, do a longer video where I take a look at it. Um, but there it is. Tuesday, my dudes. Everybody needs somebody sometime. Wednesday, my dudes. Two packages. Uh, two packages that um, I don't know. I don't know what the hell they are. <laughs> I have had a busy day. Tomorrow is a holiday, and I'm trying to get everything done before uh, Turkey Day. And uh, these came hours ago. Normally what I do is I look up what they are so I can talk about them, but I didn't do that this time. So it's going to be a complete surprise. Uh, first one is from Red Art Games. See, there's a sticker, Red Art Games. Um, I don't remember what it is. It's Vernal Edge, which that doesn't help me. I don't remember Vernal Edge. Oh, it's a Metroidvania. All right, sold. I love Metroidvanias. Um, I don't know anything else about it. I'm not going to talk about it because I don't know. I don't know Jack. Um, I did. I looked it up. I researched it before I bought it. But right now, oh man, that stuff's all gone. Uh, you know, I, you can't expect me to keep that shit in my head. Um, this one is from Premium Edition Games. I know what it is, or I know the name, but I don't remember what the game is. Uh, this is a weird box. Uh, it's a very weird box. Eh. Uh, the game is Love 3. Um... The only thing that I remember about it is that it is one of these um, hardcore platformers. Um, I don't want to say it's in the in the same vein as something like um, uh, Celeste. Um, I think that's overselling it. The the what I recall about it is that it's similar to something like. Uh, what was it? V, 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 V. I don't know how many V's are in the name. But that thing with a, like a whole bunch of V's. Uh, which was an amazing game, by the way. If you haven't played that game, and you like hardcore platformers, uh, that's a good game. I recommend highly. But it's my impression that this... It's my understanding, rather, that this is something like that. Um, but I... And also, this is the premium edition, you know. And it, it's kind of designed to look like a... Um, I don't know, like a SNES or a, or a, uh, uh, N64 card. Let me see if it fits the, I want to see if it's about the same size as N64 box. It's close. I, I, you know, I, I want to make sure that. I like I like I hate cardboard because it's so hard to keep track of. So you have these little plastic things that you put over these little protective cases, and I really like it when people reuse 
the same dimensions of previous boxes so that you can uh, use, you don't have to go find some weird bespoke sized plastic thing for it. Anyway, there's the games, Wednesday. Tomorrow is a Friday. No, no, it's not a Friday. My God, dude. Your brain is not braining. Tomorrow is Thursday, and it is Turkey Day. These might be the last things I get this week. Um, if it is, see ya. And if it's not, well, hello, Sam, or Criswell, whatever the hell your name is. See ya. Friday, my dudes, uh, and a week, um, yesterday was Turkey Day, um, and I have a huge number of packages for some reason, large number of packages, let's see what we got, alright, so this first one, this is from uh, Funstock, um, and I gotta be honest, I don't know what it is, oh, it's the Black Friday sale stuff. I picked up some Black Friday stuff. Um, I got Evergate, um, Labyrinth of Zangetsu, and Lord Winklebottom Investigates, and apparently also a keychain. They probably just threw this in. I don't think I bought this. Um... Uh, Evergate is some puzzle platformer. I don't remember too much about it. Uh, Winklebottom Investigates. This is an adventure game, if I understand correctly, that's got ridiculous stuff in it. Um, this one is, is one that I've actually been on the fence about getting for a while. Um, and it was a sort of thing where, because it was on Black Friday, I decided to go ahead and, and take the plunge. Um, it's a, uh, a dungeon crawler, a 3D dungeon crawler. And I, I do love those types of games. Um, the problem is, is, is this one kind of got mixed reviews. And so that's kind of when I was on the fence, uh, about whether or not to buy it. Because, you know, I do love this type of game, but it's the sort of thing where, um, am I going to be able to get past the game's, uh, flaws and enjoy it? Um, and... Full price, the answer was, I don't know, but uh, discounted for Black Friday, you know, hell yeah, I'm going to get it. Um, so, those three. Next up is, um, looks like Limited Run Games, Bubble Mailer. Hey, another Chemco RPG. So this is a, a dragon uh, piranha, and I, I'm trying to remember. This might just be some retro 16-bit RPG that I don't. Um, I, I I don't remember what it is, but it's Kimco, and I've been getting all of those, and they're fun. All right, let's open the next one. Oh my gosh! <laughs> happy day, happy day. Look at that! Berserk Enhanced Edition for the Atari 2600. Yeah, uh, so Atari has been um, reissuing um, some of these classic games and uh, selling them again. And they play on the 2600 plus and of course on the original 2600. Um, and, and truth be told, I already have Berserk, but um, you know, uh, the problem is I have a whole lot of um, uh, 2600 games from when I was a kid. You know, these the 2600 came out uh, when I was like four years old. So, um, you know, I didn't take great care, shall we say, of my video games when I was, you know, in kindergarten. <laughs> so I don't have the original boxes for most of my Atari 2600 stuff. Um, so, yeah. Um, I hope this is um, the same size as uh, other 
2600 games that I already have. Let's see if it's uh let's take a peek. Let's see if it's the same size. Yeah, it seems like the same size. Good. I can use the same uh um plastic thing to protect it. All right, awesome. Um let's open this one. Hot damn. Whole lot of this is also Black Friday stuff. This is Black Friday stuff from um, these guys Video Games Plus, VGP. Uh, so they had the Velocity Green. They had a whole bunch of Xbox controllers that were on sale. And uh, I either had them or didn't want them, um, but I wanted this Velocity Green. I think it's really slick. So I got that. Um, I also got uh, this Castlevania Lords of Shadow, Shadow Mirrors of Fate for the 3DS. I believe it's actually a 3D uh, Castlevania. So it's not one of the, like, oh my gosh, these are the best Castlevanias. It's one of the lesser Castlevanias. But hey, it was Black Friday. And, uh, you know, it's getting increasingly difficult to get uh, 3DS games. So I picked it up. Um, this one I already have. I have the steel book of it. Uh, this is the non-steel book of it. Why did I get it? Well, um, I am <laughs> I am giving a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift to somebody else. Um, uh, the, the person might even be watching the video, and so she. Uh, it's it it's a gift to my ex-wife. My ex-wife likes RPGs and is you know. hasn't played a lot of the modern stuff and she's um obtaining a nintendo switch um this holiday season so i am sending her some games and i'm sending her stuff that i really 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 love and uh shin megami tensei is man it's probably my favorite jrpg ah don't say jrpg it's probably my favorite rpg uh, for the Nintendo Switch. I really, really loved it. So I got it for her. All right. Uh, oh my gosh, these are a lot of packages. Let's see what the next one is. Oh my gosh. Hell yes. Um, all right, so hold on. Uh, yeah, here we go. Um, so this is Hime's Quest. I, I got this a, a, a while ago. This is the one I got a while ago. Um, it's a, 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 a. I think it's supposed to be like an RPG for the. Uh, Game Boy. I haven't, obviously, I haven't opened my original. <laughs> I, it's, it's on my backlog. Um, why do I have two? Well, there's variants. There's the orange variant and there's the blue variant. One is the variant that comes from Crunchyroll and one is the variant that comes from uh, Limited Run Games. Um, I have to be honest, I don't know which is which. <laughs> Maybe the packing slip would tell me who this, this came from. Uh, oh, this one came from... So this, the blue one, came from Crunchyroll. Um, awesome. Sweet. All right, what's next? <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Uh, everything is coming up roses. Um, this is, uh, what do they call it? The Har Harmony something? It's a little... Oh, they must have, he must have, uh, you know, salvaged it from a, an existing Atari card. Anyway, um, this is cool because it is an Atari cartridge. 
that you can put an SD card in and sideload uh, games to your Atari from SD card. Um, and uh, now that I've got the uh, 2600 plus coming, um, I kind of want to do that. I also, the, the main, so, so, okay, full disclosure, the main reason I'm getting this is uh, I recently have decided to pick up um, uh, a 6502 assembly, because <laughs> I want to write, I want to write some Atari 2600 games, and like 6502 assembly, it's like only got like, what, like 50 some odd, you know, ops, so it's like, hell, I could learn that, I know Python, I know... I know C and C++, you know, I know I'm learning Ruby. I can, I can learn 6502 assembly and write some fun games. So that's the main reason I have this. I want to be able to play games that I write. Anyway, uh, that's all the stuff I got. Oh, I just threw something. Great. Nice job. Friday, my dudes. End of video.